And here, uh, this is a meter stick. Yay! So, um, meter stick, sort of like the badness yardstick and the bad system, but measures a metric instead. Now you'll notice that we've got centimeters marked. So there's one, two, 10, 20. There's 31 centimeters right there, 31 centimeters. However, quite often when we're measuring smaller materials, we want to use millimeters, which are these teeny, teeny, tiny markings on here. Now, if you look very closely and sort of squint, you'll notice that within every centimeter, so there's 30 to 31, or even over here, even over here, between zero and one centimeter, there are 10 little tiny marks. Those are our millimeters. And right here, that's five millimeters right there, five millimeters. Rather than go through and count all the millimeters all the way up to our 31 mark here, we can just remember that there's 10 of these in each. So, to turn 31 centimeters into millimeters, all you have to do, you take your 31 centimeters, add a zero to it. Now we have 310 millimeters. Eh, that wasn't so bad. Not too difficult at all. So, if we're going to measure some objects in millimeters, for example, let's measure... Uh, well, let's, let's measure the remote here. Usually what I like to do is put it right on top so I can make sure that I've got the very edge. See, here's the very edge lined up there with the end of the meter stick. And then I'll just come out here and put something very small, very precise, right there on the end. And I'll just make my mark. Now, I'm doing this on the whiteboard for you guys because it should hopefully be a little easier to see, but maybe not. So we're, we're just at 7 millimeters past the 10. So we have 10 centimeters plus another 7 millimeters for that mark right there. That gives us 107 millimeters. So this remote, this teeny tiny remote, is 107 millimeters in length. Which is how we know, in the example, that the 90 millimeter shoe is teensy weensy. Because here, boom, there's a shoe. There's a shoe. So... If we've got our shoe, again, I like to put the heel right on. You don't have to take your shoe off for this. You just put the meter stick on the ground and measure it that way. And we'll come out here to the very end of the shoe. Very end of the shoe. There it is right about it's right there. Now, I'm, I'll mark on these meter sticks because I will wipe these off. But I'd appreciate it if you did not mark on the meter stick. Rather, just use your thumbnail, something like that. Just mark it. See, I've marked it like that. We have 31 centimeters that's not too bad 31 centimeters with another six right five the, to the mark there then six with another six millimeters so my shoe is 316 millimeters worth mentioning if you're looking at the data and you're like hey how come he's shorter and his shoes are smaller i was wearing the brown shoes that day and today we're doing the black shoes now let's say I'm measuring something that's a lot larger, like over a meter. Well, they're called centimeters because as you can see here, we go to 99 and there's actually a 100 centimeters in every meter. So if I have one meter to turn that into centimeters, all I have to do is add the two zeros. So that is 100 centimeters. Millimeters would go on as a decimal point at the end or just keep adding more zeros. So that would be 1,000 millimeters. So for example, if I measure my height and I'm one meter, and then I am also 83 centimeters taller, all I have to do to get my height in meters is just put those two together. That's 1.8 three meters. Not 183 meters. That would be like a skyscraper. That's way too big. 1.83 meters. So you just take the one meter, take the 0 0.83 meters, add them together, and that gives us 1.83 meters. And this, boys and girls, is how you measure your height with a meter stick. So you'll notice I am having the meter stick on the ground, and I'm clearly taller than the one meter stick. So, not a problem. What I usually do, 
put my hand, see how it's right on my side and use my thumb there. Then I'll just reach over here, grab the meter stick, make sure that the smaller numbers are down here towards the bottom. And then I'm just gonna put it pretty much right, right at where I marked, stand up as straight as I can, hold the meter stick against my side, and put my hand like flat right at the top of my head there. There we go. Grab the meter stick, turn around, and then we've got my reading, which is right there. Right on the three, but look, it's after, it's 83. So you'll notice I've got an entire meter plus 83 more centimeters, so plus 0.82 more meters. So that puts me at one point, well, 83, 1.83 meters tall. And that, boys and girls, is how you use meter six to measure things. Thanks for watching.